Howdy friends, What's This Food Barbecue Week is continuing. We're basically doing a week of episodes that have to do with smoking meats and smoking other side dishes, barbecue style. Today, we are going to explore one of the most delicious sides for any barbecue. Today's sponsor is Schoolhouse Kitchen and you can check them out online right now at schoolhousekitchen.com. Schoolhouse Kitchen is based in Brooklyn, New York, and they produce a bunch of different types of spreadable fruits, jams, they have some sauces, mustards, but one of the most interesting things about their company is that they take a good portion of their profits and donate it to education-based programs that educate people in the food space. So it's a really neat program to support, and they make really delicious products. We're going to use their horseradish mustard in our recipe today. Um, it's super creamy, really kind of rich, uh, and has a nice sharp component from the horseradish. It's really tasty. Check them out online at schoolhousekitchen.com and get your hands on some of their jellies and mustards right now. Alrighty folks, today we are talking about baked beans. Good old baked beans, a staple at every campfire and every wild western movie in the world. Baked beans are popular dishes in many places in the world. You'll see them a lot in Ireland, in the UK, in Canada, and of course here in the States. And the dish that you'll find in the States is probably the one that you're most familiar with. It's generally a little bit sweet. The dish is a native dish to the United States. It actually was kind of a variation on a staple that Native Americans ate when they were consuming a lot of legumes, mostly navy beans and haricot. And despite the name baked beans, the beans are kind of not really baked. Most of the time, they're cooked in something like a stew. So you're saying, why is it called a baked bean? Well, historically, loggers would cook this dish inside of the ground. They'd fill up a ceramic or a cast iron pot with beans, with some liquid, with some spices and some sweetness, and they would dig a hole in the ground, and they'd fill it up with fire, put the beans inside, and then cover it up. This was called bean hole cooking. So they would do this in the morning, go out and harvest trees, and come back and have a big pile of baked beans for dinner. This is a super popular type of cooking, uh, and it's really found throughout Maine and other parts of New England. If you've never tasted baked beans before, go get some or make this recipe. They are super delicious. It's a protein-rich side. It has a good amount of sugar, which gives you a nice pick-me-up, but that sugar is caramelized, so it's rich and it's earthy and it's deep and it's really, really comforting. Fun fact, if you've ever heard someone talk about Boston as bean town, they're actually referring to the Bostonians' love for baked beans. In fact, there is a specific type of baked bean dish called Boston baked beans. They love them. Because it's barbecue week, I said we can't bake our beans, we have to smoke our beans. And I will tell you the truth. These might be the most delicious baked beans I've ever had. I'm not trying to blow smoke up my own smoker, but these are really good. They're complex, they're not overly sweet, they have a little bit of heat to them. You should try them. To make my baked beans, first get your smoker ready. You want to have it at about 250 to 275 degrees. If you're cooking other things, you might want to have a lower temperature, but if it's just the beans, don't worry about it being that warm. Meanwhile, get some really thick bacon or bacon ends like I'm using and cut it up into small pieces. Add this to a large heavy bottom pan and render out a little bit of fat over low heat. Add a chopped up onion, a chopped up red bell pepper, and a chopped up green bell pepper. Add a bit of salt and cook it over medium heat until the onions are translucent. Now add about four cans of rinsed white or navy beans and stir them in. I'm using canned beans because they were convenient. You can use dried beans, but make sure they're really well hydrated, otherwise the dried beans are gonna suck up all of the cooking liquid and you'll go to your smoker and realize you have some dried beans, not baked beans. Then add a quarter of a cup of molasses, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, a heaping tablespoon of mustard, we're using Schoolhouse Kitchen's horseradish mustard. You can get it from their website, or you can substitute this for yellow mustard or Dijon and a little bit of horseradish, but I think this blend is really nice. A few swigs of Worcestershire, a teaspoon of cayenne, a tablespoon of paprika, and stir it all together. 
Place this in a disposable aluminum tray and put it in your smoker. This tray is the perfect thing for the smoker. It'll get soot on it, it'll get dark, and you can throw it away. A little bit of waste, sure, but it's better than ruining your pans. Smoke it for about two hours, stirring occasionally, and enjoy. So that's how to make probably the best baked beans I've ever had. Uh, I really like this recipe because there's a good amount of heat, not too much sweetness. It's just really well balanced and I think it's really tasty. Tune in tomorrow for another What's This Food. Check out our sponsor, schoolhousekitchen.com, and be sure to join our Facebook page by going to danieldelaney.com slash Facebook. I will see you over there.